Hey guys, I'm Tom. Today with special guest Calvin. Welcome to the series WRD Quick Notes, where we will be going through the different models and trims available throughout our brand. Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about the most luxurious Grand Cherokee we have, the 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit. It's absolutely freezing. Let's go inside and talk about it. <clears throat> All right, we are in snow mode. Let's go. One of the cool things about getting a Jeep is days like this when people are calling in sick to work and can't get in because of the snow. All cars you, on the side of the road. Or, the, <laughs> or their Mustang is spinning in circles. That too. <laughs> you just quickly spin this dial to snow and the transmission starts in second gear, a lot softer. Quadrilift air suspension rises up, get a bit higher on the road above the snow, and you have freedom. Absolutely dominating the road. No, I've fallen in love with these. This summer it took a test drive to Abbotsford in one, and I was like, all right, I'm buying one today. And the interior, man, it's just like gorgeous. Yeah, the Summit does something a little bit, a little bit over the top, with like the diamond stitched leather. It's like the same, the same kind of style that they have in the new, uh, I think it's the 2020 Bentley uh, GT. They've right. got the similar style. It looks super cool. And the and the weird part is, is like even sitting in the back seat, it looks nicer. Like yeah. you have so much room in the back. It's just so much. It's one of those. It's, it's one of those things. I find I tell people all day long. The back seat, when you have a panoramic sunroof like that large, it actually just makes it feel. It opens up the vehicle, um, and when you have that much footroom, yeah, it's super comfortable. Yeah, you wouldn't expect, you know, this level of like luxury from a domestic brand, but I think Jeep yeah. being able to <laughs> do this with this car, it's just like. It kind of blows your mind away. It's like you get in and you're like, this doesn't feel like a Jeep. I have a, yeah. You get the best of both worlds. You get the what Jeep is known for and like how they're just like the brand for off-roading and then you yeah. come and sit in this car and you're just like, what? You put it in sand dune mode and just go do donuts out in the snow. Yeah, you can sitting have fun that this, way. <laughs> sitting in this Laguna leather with this nice black wood trim, just like, okay, cool, you know? Yeah, my aunt and uncle, they won't buy anything that's not BMW. I, th I think BMW at this point, but it's like BMW and, and Mercedes. And I remember we did um, a, a community baseball, we sponsored a, like a wrap up movie night. And we brought a bunch of vehicles down and they were actually blown away. It's yeah, it's one of those things where like, usually you get in one of those luxury brands and the fit and finish is really the the difference, the, the final difference. Yeah. But I mean, with all the same options and sound system and air ride and leather packages, yeah. it's, yeah. And this has, is, people don't actually know this. You guys uh, don't know this, but this does have some European, like, descent to it. Yeah, yeah, I know the, yeah, the frame is uh, off the Mercedes ML platform. Yeah, yeah, it's a unibody frame too, uh, which means, you know, structurally it is all one. It's not um, frame on platform, right. uh, so the frame, the frame has to be built a lot more, a lot stronger. I have a bit more integrity to it, but it feels a lot smoother on the road because of it. No, they've done a good job. One thing is big for me too. One thing I don't know why it kills me when it's steering wheel. It the leather is great, but having like that the, the wooden I don't even know what it's called like the wooden top for a steering wheel. It's one of those things that I know I. It, Funny, once you start driving with it, it's one of those things that I don't know if I could ever really go back. Yeah. It's always nice to just remote start your car and yeah. then the steering wheel <laughs> is heated and it's got this nice finish to it. If, like, <laughs> life is good. If I go home, I don't care if I was at work for 12 hours, 
If I go home and it's blizzard out, snowing and cold, and my gas light's on so I can't use remote start in the morning, I get in my car and just go to the nearest gas station. Yeah. It almost makes your day. Like you're having a bad day, work's not good, you know, you're fighting with the wife. <laughs> Kids are just being, you know, rascals. All you life, gotta do is life's just, sounding rough. It's just, it's just, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go sit in my 2020 Grand Cherokee Summit because it remote starts and it knows me. Yeah. And it knows how I feel. And it's gonna comfort me. That's and if you've seen in one of our earlier videos, you can also play Call of Duty in it as well. That is true. You can 1v1 your mates. Just with select options. Like, you can get like, like two an monitors. Two in the back and the front. Uh, you connect theater is in the front as well um, Which is super cool. I didn't even know you were allowed to do that uh, until I until we started playing around with it um, But yeah, no, you can be the front seat with an Xbox controller playing Call of Duty 1v1 wanting someone in the back uh, X, Xbox not included <laughs> Yeah, I wish then it's just if you want to go above and beyond uh, and get some of those extra cool fit and finish kind of options Yeah, yeah no my honest opinion the Grand Cherokee Summit. It's got, depending on what engine you get, we're in the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar. They use that engine on almost every model vehicle they sell. And it's a great engine, gets the job done. I personally, I'm just a Hemi guy at heart. Um, so the 5.7 liter Hemi is the way I would go, and I have. A 300 horsepower is, is gets the job done, saves you a bit of money at the tank. You can get away with the V6, and you can save some gas on it. Anyways, these are our thoughts on the 2020 Grand Cherokee Summit. It's a little bit more above and beyond than you'd expect from a Jeep, but it, it's there, it, they've done it. Yeah, it's really nice. All right guys, that is our hot take, our quick notes on the 2020 Grand Cherokee Summit. Luxury, performance, better price tag, and off-road capability all kind of meshed into one, something you don't really expect seeing Jeeps up and down the road Open the door, drive one, you'll be really, really surprised. Like us on our Facebook page, White Rock Dodge. You'll see more videos like this and more fun videos as well. I'll end it with a little Jeep wave. Look it up, you'll see it's a real thing. No, it's like this. Like this, it's like a peace sign. There's an actual Jeep wave, like Jeep people. And that person.